Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at the Timberin Heavy Duty Axleless Trailer Suspension. So this is an option to replace your current uh, axle if your trailer is needing uh, an upgrade or uh, maybe the, the axle has been damaged, you're looking at other options. This is going to be a great option for you. Uh, it smooths out the ride, it's going to make it very comfortable, quiet, and safe for you. Uh, because these are two individual components that are going to mount onto the sides of your trailer frame, you're not going to need anything in between here. So uh, basically eliminates the need for an axle. So this is a really nice setup. Uh, you can use this for a single axle trailer. If you were to add a second set like this on, you could also use it for a double axle trailer. Uh, they do not recommend using it for a triple axle trailer. We're gonna go into some of the features here. Uh, the first one I want to mention is just how easy this is to get mounted in place. You are gonna to have to measure uh, to make sure that they are even, even distance from the front uh, to make sure that everything is gonna be aligned properly. Um, but after that, it's basically just bolting on or welding on to the frame of your trailer. These are a very heavy duty, sturdy construction. We've got a steel uh, with a black powder coat finish here. So it's gonna be very heavy duty, give us that 3,500 pound weight capacity. So it's gonna be ideal for your off-road use and heavy duty applications. Uh, these springs on the front here are our main springs. These are an Aeon progressive rate spring. So uh, basically as you load more weight onto your trailer, they're going to compress more, become firmer. Uh, so it's gonna give more support, but no matter how much weight you have on there, they are going to make the ride much smoother, absorbing a lot of the road shock and uh, bumps off-roading and those kind of things to make it a nice smooth ride for us and our cargo. The spring on the back side here, this is our rebound spring. So as this is coming up to uh, compress and reduce a lot of that road shock, this is kind of a, uh, a match for that to make sure that we're not gonna bottom out or anything like that. It's gonna help minimize the rattle. Uh, uh, of our spring, so it's gonna create constant pressure on this arm, making sure that our suspension is never completely relaxed. So we've got a nice back and forth there to really make sure that everything is nice and smooth. Because we do have two independent units, uh, we're not gonna have to worry about that axle in between, so that's gonna increase our ground clearance, especially if we're doing off-roading. Uh, that's gonna be really nice not gonna have to worry about anything in between there. Uh, it can potentially lower your deck, so depending on uh, how high up your uh, current system is from your frame, you can see this is, uh, your frame's gonna be mounted right here, so there is not much room there, so it could potentially lower your deck height, which would obviously make it easier for you to load and unload things that you have in your trailer. Uh, this is also going to help reduce your rolling uh, when you are taking a corner, uh, because these are independent systems, one is gonna engage and allow the other to uh, remain at its level. So uh, it's gonna help reduce that side to side, side to side movement. And because they are independent, uh, it is going to fit any size of trailer, any width. Obviously you wanna make sure that you're not exceeding road limits on how wide you make your trailer if you're building one. Uh, but you're not gonna have to worry about measuring your axle to ensure that you're getting the exact right fit. As long as you can mount these onto your trailer, they're going to work with any width there. So that's gonna be really nice. One thing to keep in mind, uh, depending on your trailer, if you do not already have um, support on your trailer where these are going to be mounted, you will need that. Uh, so if you don't have a, a cross piece there on your trailer, you can either add one uh, to the trailer, you can build up the trailer or uh, a more simple option that I would highly recommend. These back holes here, you can run a uh, three by four inch piece, I'm sorry, two by three inch uh, weld steel tubing. Uh, you can find that in the welding section, just about any hardware store. Uh, so whatever width you need for your trailer, you can mount that in between here. So we've got 
the holes on both sides. So if you wanna get a little extra support there, you can do that. And that's still gonna be much higher than your standard axle. So it's still gonna give you a lot more ground clearance. So it's not gonna take away from that aspect, but it might help shore up that stability a little bit. So if you, uh, if you don't already have a cross piece that's helping support your trailer frame, that might be needed. Uh, but if you already have that cross member above where you're gonna be installing these, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, these do have a built-in camber and toe-in to help your trailer to track, tr track straight, uh, which is going to help reduce the wear on your tires. They do include some shims here uh, to adjust that camber uh, if you need to, but ordinarily uh, the, the built-in camber should uh, do a good job for you, be everything that you need to make sure that your trailer is going to track track straight. You can see we do have the straight easy lube spindles here that's going to um, allow you to mount on your brake flan uh, your brake drum and hub. Those are sold separately. You're, they're not included in this kit. Uh, but this easy lube is going to be uh, very easy to lube. So uh, because we have the zerk here on the end, we can just grease our bearings without having to remove our hub. So uh, it's very easy to get, keep it well lubricated. These spindles can be removed. If something were to happen, they, they would be damaged or something like that. You can just remove the spindles themselves. You don't have to worry about removing the whole system and then replace those if you need to. You can see we do have a five bolt brake flange configuration here. Uh, so make sure that any uh, hubs and drums that you get will work with that. Now, as far as the specific compatibility with your hubs and drums, uh, you can find very detailed information on the product page here at eTrailer.com. But a general rule of thumb, you just wanna make sure that your uh, hub and drum is going to meet the same weight capacity as your suspension system. So you wanna make sure that it's at least 3,500 pounds combined or that would be about 1,750 pounds each. So whatever you're, uh, when you're looking for your hub and drum system, make sure that they're going to meet those specifications. Now this does come with a three year limited warranty. So give you a little extra peace of mind there. You've got three years to take it through the mud, off-roading and everything to make sure that they're gonna work great for you. If you have any problems within those first three years, you can give us a call. Uh, we're happy to help you out with that. Uh, but just get a, a little extra peace of mind there. And I really don't think you're gonna have any problems. Like I said, most of our customers are really impressed with the way these work. They say it makes the ride a lot more smooth and gives them extra support uh, where they've bent axles in the past, these have held up well. So I think they're gonna be a great option for you. Uh, so that's gonna complete our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.